What is going on, guys? Welcome to Extreme Daily Drivers, where we are always balling the budget and wrenching our garage. I got a nice and easy one today, man. I didn't involve Kelly. She's out doing her thing. This is too easy. No need for her. But uh, today we're going to be installing some mirrors on the 91 Miata. Check it out. Dude, if you missed last week's video, I don't, I don't know what to say to you, man. I don't know what to say to you, but you're, you're missing out on just absolute perfection dude this thing is an absolute beast and if you were really watching last week you noticed you noticed that we didn't have any mirrors that's right missing and uh we're gonna fix that today so what i thought we would do as you guys remember these guys i primed them up uh, i gotta clean them up a little bit but i think that uh we'll go ahead and uh, see if we can match paint these randy gave me some paint and uh, let me see if i can work some magic on this you know i'm kidding right you know I'm kidding. There's no way that we're going to mess with these stupid things. I got something super rad that we're going to throw in the car today. Check this out. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah, baby. Formula GT3 carbon fiber beer. Yeah, buddy. We're not playing around. Let's see if I can open this with one hand. Check it out. Our theory motorsports. Thanks to the guys at Nat Motorsports once again for recommending this place. This place is in Canada. It takes a little bit to get your stuff, but really good pricing. I'll have a link for everything down below. These are ARP performance mirrors. Check it out. Our warranty and policy. Some more cool stuff. Man, I hope these things actually fit because I uh, get a little sticker. I haven't really messed with these all that much since receiving them. I just got them in the mail. We got Allen wrenches. Um, Oh, we got some more bracketry. Let's put that over here. And here are the mirrors, dude. Here are the mirrors. Look at this. Look how sick. I wish you could see how light these are because they weigh absolutely nothing. And man, where's the sun when you need it? But yeah, man, check them out. Beauts. Super rad. So now there are lots of places you can pick these mirrors up, but they will not fit your Miata. Here, take a look at what I'm talking about over here. If we take this guy and we try to hold him up to our spot, you can see that the bolts don't line up whatsoever. So that's where this cool kit comes in. They come in with these adapter brackets, which in theory, oh yeah, buddy, they should line up perfect. So brackets go to the car. No, how do you think we should do this? Brackets go to the car last. Comes with nice hardware. Uh, rubber grommets, I guess, go between car and bracket. That would make sense to me. And then mirror to bracket. So let me go ahead and screw these together and see how they look. All right, so I just got this guy together and uh, it took me a minute to figure out how the brackets work. Uh, at first, I wondered if maybe there was a left and a right. Um, but then after reviewing them, they're identical. So this is obviously going to be the passenger because it's got objects in the mirror are closer. And uh, it's just kind of weird putting a mirror on a car because there's so many different ways the mirror can be adjusted. I think that's right. So I'm going to go ahead and get the, the rubber and mount this to the car and see where we're at. Hmm. That doesn't look right. Yeah, I really screwed that one up, man. <laughs> The bracket needs to go on the bottom. And uh, I also installed them in a stupid way too. I did this side the right way. So I did this one the correct way. And uh, you want the slant to be at the top, the thick part to be at the top of the door. Um, so yeah, I gotta fix the other one. But dude, look at this, look at this thing, dude. Huh? And they both have objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. They have that blue tint to them that you used to find in BMWs back in the day. Dude, how sick are these? This is the first carbon fiber part I've ever purchased in my life. So I'm pretty stoked, pretty stoked on how it looks. And uh, happy to have these on the car, man. They just really kind of the cherry on top. All right, so I need to put this disclaimer out there, guys. If you are installing these things, they are fragile, all right? <laughs> I shouldn't have to tell you that. But when it comes to the bolts here on the door and here on the mirror, these things are fragile, dude. Do not hammer on these things. Do not show everybody how strong you are by cranking these things down to a million foot-pounds. If you want to use Loctite on that, I'm sure you could. I'm not going to do that, but uh, be careful because you can strip them out, break them, whatever, including the mirror. It's, it's super light. 
and it's, uh, you know, I think probably pretty fragile. So be careful when handling this. Do not go bananas. Check them out, guys. Huh? What a huge upgrade. Super sleek. Really good shot of what's behind you. And then over here, check out the passenger. What an upgrade. Get him. Gotta look. Why don't you come and tell me? really nice <laughs> they're really cute dude what do you think's better what do you think's better <laughs> this <laughs> or that <laughs> hey these are for sale if anyone needs them <laughs> <laughs> looks good look at how cute these are they are cute hop in go look at the uh passenger let me see uh watch my phone it's on the ground How's the other one look? Yeah, it looks good. Looks good, right? Yeah, I like how it's elongated. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Super rad. Does a good job of uh, showing you the... Uh, showing you the road. The road. Yeah. All right, now we can safely drive this car again. And they're nice again. and tinted. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the blue tint is, is money, man. Yeah, it matches. All right. Well, I think that about does it, huh? All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. We are only like two weeks away from Yadas at the Gap. Wow. And uh, we still have a lot to do. <laughs> there is a lot to do. Still got some more stuff coming in the mail, some more videos to put up before we head out there. So if you're going once again, let us know down in the comments. We'd love to meet you out there in Tennessee. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're going to finish this one off today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. Later. Bye.